data from daily life context. Hey, Bubbly, what are you doing in the garden? Bunty, Mummy has prepared this table and given it to me. There are different flowers in the garden. I am counting the blossomed flowers to find out flowers that have blossomed. Why? Data. I mean to collect the data. Hey, but the data about all the blossomed flowers is already filled in this table. That's why you don't need to count the flowers one by one in the garden. Why? Because whatever details that are already filled in this table about the flowers, you just need to understand those data. How is that? Come on, let me teach you. Today, in this video, we will learn to interpret data from the table. Look, there are different flowers in this garden. How many flowers have blossomed? That data has been collected and filled in the table. That's why it has been written on the top of the table the number of blossomed flowers in the garden. There are two columns in the table. In the first column, the blossom flowers in the garden are written. Come on, read those. The names of the flowers are marigold flower, rose flower and champa flower. From this data, we can know that three types of flowers have blossomed in the garden. Yes, first is marigold flower, second rose flower and third is champa flower. Hmm, come on, now read the second column. What is the number of flowers? The number of marigold flowers is 6. The number of rose flowers is 4. And the number of champa flowers is 9. Yes, the data collected about the number of blossom flowers in the garden has been shown in this table. Yes. This is very interesting. And now, I will not have to count the flowers one by one. After understanding the table, I have understood which and how many flowers have blossomed in the garden. What have you understood? I understood that there are three kinds of flowers, marigold, rose and champa that have blossomed in the garden. And there are six marigold flowers, four rose flowers and nine champa flowers that have blossomed in the garden. Thank you, Bunty. You have really explained the data in the table very well. Yes, yes. Okay. Now show me the second table which Mummy has given to you. Here it is. Hey! There are only pictures of fruits in this table. The number of fruits are not written. So what will you do now? I will go to the kitchen now and count the number of fruits and come back. Hey, stop. You do not have to go anywhere. Why? Come on. All the data has been shown in this table. How is that? Look. Which pictures are there in the column of fruits in the table? There are pictures of apple, pineapple, pomegranate and orange. Now have you understood that the data given is about which fruits? Yes, but how will I know the number of fruits without counting them? It is easy. How many pictures of apples are given in this table? There are five pictures of apples. Yes, so we have to write the number of apples, five, in the column of number of fruits. 
Similarly, there is one picture of pineapple. So we have to write the number of pineapples one in the column of number of fruits. There are three pictures of pomegranate. So we have to write the number of pomegranates three in the column of number of fruits. There are four pictures of oranges. So we have to write the number of oranges four in the column of number of fruits. Absolutely right, Bubbly. Now you will be able to interpret the data given in the table, won't you? Yes. It is very easy to interpret the data given in the table. Thank you, Bunty. Friends, in this video, you learned to interpret data from the table. In the next video, you will learn to interpret data from the table by using some examples.